Hi guys, did you ever wonder how a tube version of the Maverick would look like? And how to make it world's first triple regulated air gun? Keep watching and I'll show you. So wanting to know how a Maverick with a tube would look like, that what interested me. So you may know the FX Maverick shares some parts of the Wildcat Mark III, like the bridge block for instance, and a bottle adapter like you also find on the FX Dreamline. So I saw some possibilities. With a tube version in mind, I went to my parts bin and I came up with this. In my parts bin, I found this air tube from an FX Dreamline. My first thought was I could remove the bottle adapter, screw in the air tube since they share the same threads and connection, and I'm done. The regulator in the bottle adapter would be replaced with the regulator that you have in the air tube and still keep the benefit of the dual regulator setup. But I didn't like the idea of removing the bottle adapter and messing too much with the setup. There had to be another way of doing this, so I went back to the parts bin to see what I could find. And what I found was this. This is an end cap of a Wildcat sharing the same threads and just cruising like this. At this point I thought, wow, this is meant to be. But there was only one problem. When screwing it in all the way, there was still a gap or an opening between the tube and the end cap of about one millimeter. So I decided to take it to the lathe and machine it down so it would fit, uh, would fit flush, keeping the regulator exactly in its position where it should be, otherwise I would lose the adjustment on the other adjustment screw you see here in the hole. Machining it down one mil and it ended up just like this. This was perfect, but when snooping around in my parts bin, I also had to share a spare power plenum of the Dreamline that I wanted to incorporate as well. So everything puts, goes together like this. The end cap goes into the power plenum. Nice and flush, just like this. The power plenum screws into the air tube. Like so. And now I had an air tube with a power plenum and the same connection as a bottle. Putting everything together, I was confident this would look very cool. So let me show you now how it looks. Taking the correct Allen key, I will first remove the universal Picatinny rail by Sabre Tactical. And that gives me a little bit of room to unscrew and screw on the bottle and the tube. Let's undo the bottle. Quickly turn it back around. Like this. Take the tube. Other way around. It's a very tight fit, but it fits like a glove. And just like this, guys. I created a Maverick tube style at the same time what I think is world's first triple regulated air gun. One regulator in the tube, one regulator in the bottle adapter and one regulator back here. And it works just like this. You have your air tube pressure at the front gauge here. Then the gauge at the bottle adapter will read the pressure of your uh, first regulator and the second and the third regulator are operated just like before with the gauge at the back. By doing this through the bottle adapter, it also gives enough room between the barrel and the shroud to allow for a shorter barrel like a 5 or a 600 and a fat big thing to keep the noise down. You know what I mean. Looking at this setup, I suddenly get an idea. One second, I'll be right back. With this tube I made, I realized you can also make a tube style impact and get a dual regulator setup as well. Let me quickly put it together and see how it looks. Screwing on the tube. A 
And there you have it. A tube style impact with a nice tube. You can even put a nice looking Donny on the end. And of course, that looks maybe a little bit awkward now, but if you replace it with the original um, trigger guard, it's pretty sweet, I'd find. Same here, you have your bottle pressure through the gauge at the front. The gauge here now will read the pressure of your, of your first regulator and the gauge at the back will still read the pressure of your second regulator. And just like this, you have a dual regulated tube style FX impact. Okay, one quick thing to note is that you may have realized I didn't fill the tube with the air. And that's because the tube, as I have it here, doesn't have a check valve inside, like the bottles. And you have to bleed the entire tube in order to be able to take it off the impact or the maverick. And therefore you waste a lot of air. And I have to be conservative with my air in my bottle because of Corona, it's very difficult to get that uh, bottle refilled in a scuba shop because you may make appointments, etc. But that should all be fixed with the compressor I have coming soon. So no check valve in the tube and you have to bleed the entire tube by loosening the gauge at the front. Let all the air escape just like you do with the FX Wildcat. Right. Now quickly to show you that the whole setup works and it's not just a gimmick. I, uh, I assembled everything. Uh, the first regulator in the tube is at 200 bar. The second regulator is at 160 and the third regulator is at about 130 bar. So let's put the magazine in. Uh, let's see what she does. I don't know about you, but I think that triple regulator setup really works. Awesome. Well guys, there you have it. The FX Maverick tube style with triple regulator setup. Whether you like the look of this, it's just me playing around with my guns, parts and see what the possibilities are and how some things look. That's it guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed this short modification video and maybe inspired some of you to do something similar. As always, I thank you for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video where I'll be creating the ultimate compact version of the FX Impact. Keep on shooting and I hope to see you there, bye!